Are you listening here? He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Are you ready? I said, are you Guys, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a good, good old thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment below on what and all you want to see in the next part of the zoo. Do you need to build an exhibit over here? Um, just to shut the vets, uh, the keep, uh, yeah, the vets up down this end. So let's do. When you think of places like Longley and. Uh, Chester Zoo, or you know, like more of a traditional zoo. What's the first animal you think of? What's, what's, what's one of the animals that you sort of go, ooh? Actually, let's go. Uh, let's go. Peafowls, maybe? We've got war hogs down the other end, so I don't want to use them twice at the moment. Um, let's see what we have. War hogs having babies. Timber wolf. We're going to do some timber wolves. And we're going to give them a pretty big, pretty big enclosure as well. And right, barriers. Let's do. This rain would go away. Literally, that's what's playing on the iPad. I can hear rain, rain, go away. Um, I want to give him a pretty big enclosure. What are you doing, Missy? That's a pretty 
very big enclosure for two dwarves. Oh, have I just made the biggest boo boo in my life? <clears throat> what did I say? Literally, last last video about blueprints. I'm sure I have a timber wolf enclosure. Wolf habitat, wolf habitat with viewing area. Finding this one, I was like, "Ooh, that's really nice." stairs going down to here. Right. <clears throat> so first thing we need to do is we need to figure out the path size. Um,
Britain, Mississippi, into the land of the living. Hey! Hi. So, explain, I tried explaining to the chat, but explain to the chat what it is you're doing with this ice cream. I'm using it as part of a sponge batter. So, it's the equivalent of the butter, the eggs, and, and, and milk. Anything wet, basically. And all I'm adding is flour and baking powder. I don't know what it's going to do, what's going to be like. Doing it something like this opens the flavours and the ability to do dairy free sponges yeah. wide open because they do so many different dairy free ice creams and so many different flavoured ice creams out there yeah you could end up with quite a nice variety of flavours flavours Turn it up to about halfway, three quarters of the way, so I can actually hear you. <coughs> so we are doing wolves, Mrs. C. Do wolves. Uh, we just need to do a nice wide path off of here. Yeah, Eden suffering today. Not quite sure if it's just teething, if it's a combination of teething and virus, or what. She's. Yeah, she's. she's, she's oh no. Oh, maybe I should turn your screen off, actually. Um. Why have it locked me out? Oh man, okay. So we should have in our animal storage four timber wolves. Send to the zoo. Uh, uh, why is there a hole in my flat gate? Uh, uh, hello? Edit barrier. It's not even like that was... Yeah, probably get away with that one, because that's... Um, that is she watching? I don't know, but why is this locked me into Noah Holt's profile? Uh, <coughs> like, why? Where's my emails gone? Oh dear. Oh, that's not me. Right. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Noah Holt, who forgot to sign out. Right. So let's pause this chat. And go to Zoo, Staff. So, uh, classic world entrance, add. Oh no, what's going on? There you go, there's our walks. 
overall quite happy, which is good. And, oh, I don't know. Eden, please. Sweep of all of the. Can you please refer? That's, that's all those, that's fine. Which one I guess stuff's got? Yep. All the same price. Right, so we shouldn't have any more faffing about now. Now we've got our wolf enclosure up the other end. Uh, uh, Lion King exhibit, which we started yesterday. We have uh, we have our con warthogs, which have had a few babies. There's had a few. They've had quite a few babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 warthogs. We have our coyotes, our, uh, sorry, coyotes, a spotted hyena, which are coming on quite nicely. Over here we have our mandrills, which are our Rafikis from the Lion King. Uh, can I find any of them? Doesn't help it's night time, so it's very hard to spot animals in the dark. There we are. There's our mandrills. And then over here, we have our Pride and Joy exhibit, which is the, the lions themselves. There they are. Where's my lions at? They're dogs, it's very hard to see. But they are in there. I promise you that they are in there. There's this. I think about it. Here's the lioness. First. There she is. And bearing in mind, guys, as well, <clears throat> my system isn't the best in the world. And um, oh, we've got quite a lot of litter over here. Let's get some bins in. I think. Get rid of the summit's litter. Let's do African bin two. Um, so yeah, my computer system isn't the greatest in the world. So I'm, I think I'm currently running on like medium settings for this game. So yeah, you can always. Um, How do I get to my emails? Uh, Um, yeah, so you can increase, if you've got a better system, you can increase the, the quality of the animals, but I think that even on medium they're quite, quite good. Right, so at the end of the last, oh, 
Why do I have a hit? There we go. We're expecting a baby. Let's just watch this for a minute. Let's see the magical, uh, magical world of childbirth in this game. God. Just run around at the minute, right? So whilst that's going on, we um, we added a little bit of a, a lake around here, and it was mainly to sort of like semi hides the staff path. Too low. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what's going on? Charles just went funny. What? Verify my date of birth? 3rd of the 12th. Lord of our Saviour, 0001. <laughs> How rude! Uh, oh, come on, what hog is the first thing? So, what? What? What is it doing? Uh, an update. Yeah, some form of update. Uh, little, 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 little. My common warthogs are thirsty, so you get the keepers down to them. Tune also needs cleaning, so hopefully they'll do all that at the same time. Actually, I think it's time we got rid of a few of our warthogs because there is a lot of them. Uh, a lot, a lot of them. Let's get rid of some, what some. is going on? Uh, My PC is just having a big fart. There we go. You right, Eden? Okay. She's fine. Uh, right, so I do have a list here of other animals. Oh, my patience is not great today. What's that? Nothing's loading. Give up. I'm going again. She's on. She's on one today, chat. Let's let's uh let's hide her camera. She's not here. Uh oh, facility having what? No power. How is there, how is there no power? Uh, one of our power generators is down by looks of it. soon. Right. Turn her microphone back down. That's what all those notifications there are for because there is uh, issues with that. Right. <coughs> so we need to build a basically a big exhibit um, where 
multiple animals can live together. Because we need to put together some gazelle, some zebra, giraffes, um, wildebeest. Yeah. Now, if I go here, this is one thing I like about this. If I go up here and I go to uh, here, and it tells me what other animals work well in that in that group. So we can have African buffalo, black wildebeest, uh, ostriches. I probably won't do common warthog. We won't do because we've already got a pen for those. Plains uh, plains zebra, giraffe, antelope, and springbok. So this is going to be our supporting cast um, area, which I will include this, because this is just covering the power supply. So we're going to go with, um, I think we're going to go with um, steel mesh. Pretty elusive uh, pen, but this pen, where it's going to be <coughs> pretty big anyway, is going to have a um, safari truck ride going through it. Hopefully. And we're going to keep it pretty close to the path of the lion and the mandrill. Exhibits. So they can still see them as they walk around. It's big enough. That looks big enough, doesn't it? It is pretty huge. Don't worry about that bit there that keeps popping up. It's um, it's just the underground path that the graphics cards can't seem to keep it there. Right. Okay, so we need to put a habitat gate in first. So we'll put that in there. Paths. Uh, staff path. trading so first of all we are going to do this first on my list gazelles Females and a male. And then we want uh, African buffalo. Two females and a male. Let's go with antelope mix. Stable one flight. There we go. A female, one male. Black wildebeest. Because I've seen the film, the black wildebeest is what chases 
Simba through the gorge. So we need some of those. Uh, what else? Uh, giraffe. Let's go with. female, she's got the higher, and that male, there we go, <coughs> uh, what else was in that list of, springbok, Then we go to our trade center, reset. And we literally just highlight them all. Center zoo. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for, actually first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some facilities down here. Our facilities. We're going to do the African Keeper's Hut just to keep it all African esque. Uh, and we'll do a staff room, large African staff room. To our work zone. Uh, new world. Okay, that's all those added. I think we actually need to add some more staff as well because our staff are running a bit on the short side now. So let's add uh, three, four, five of those. Let's do five more keepers. Two, three, four, five. Uh, three. No, let's do five more mechanics because a lot of things seem to be breaking down. Do three more security. Five more vets. And because we're playing this in sandbox mode, we don't have to worry too much about the costs of people. So, right. I'm going to pause the game for a second. I'm going to go by non-work zone. And we're just going to highlight everyone who's currently not in a work zone. I'll show you why, because anyone who was here over the last couple of days will have seen me do this already. Um, I need to leave two of those off. So I need to go on Classic World Entrance. the 26 members we've we've now hired we can actually just put these on down here and go straight down to new world entrance and we're going to give everyone a pay rise by hundred dollars to keep everyone nice and happy now uh, select these two classic world, classic world. all right <coughs> So that should be everyone happy, that should be everyone working together in their respective zones. 
And as you can hear in the background, we do have Frozen on. Alright, so we've got some animals coming in now. Which is nice. Short grass, less long grass. So we're going to do each species as they come. Alright, more than enough space. Everything's green at the moment, so we're going to leave it as it is. Habitats. Go to filters, species, and the first species we're going for is plains, uh, plains zebra. So we go to plains zebra, and the first thing I want to do is shelter for them. So I'm going to put the shelter over here, and we're going to go with an African feel shelter. Put some bedding in there. <clears throat> there we go. Right, enrichment. Actually, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some food sections. So I'm going to put the food around here. Two. Food. And two water. And we're gonna, we're gonna sort of semi hide. This in the wall. Because I'll still be able to get to it. <clears throat> you just can't see it as much. Right, enrichment. So what we got? Food enrichment. So we're going to put these relatively close to here. Sort of use the rocks to hide things around. And then toy enrichment. I like these ones because you can actually add some just normal trees. These are uh, searching trees. <clears throat> which the animals will use to search for bugs and stuff. And it also counts to watch their coverage. Which is nice. And a couple of scratching posts. These are a plant screen, but these are, they like to rub up against them. Uh, and then some herb scent makers. Oh, and a uh, dumbbell. Apparently they like many of those. Put two of those down. Right, so if, now if we press play, enrichment should go to 100%. Yep. Show it was 100%. And they are happy. Uh, they're not liking that, they're not liking that, they're not liking that. So let's get rid of those. Alright, what have we got now? A stable went like to come in injured. That's good, ain't it? Right, <clears throat> they need more soil. Now, that's fine because the zebras like soil anyway. Hey, what you got? What you got? Oh, did it not carry on? No, Daddy put the wrong password in. 
two seconds. So we need to put a little bit of soil down, so let's reduce the size a little bit and put some soil near the front. And put some up here. I want to go to about 10% of soil. There we go. There we go. So they're happy with everything else. Um, because he's already injured. So we need to change the. Oh no, I want habitat, not nature. We need to change the species now to stable antelope. Um, and then see if there's anything enrichment wise that they've not already got. So they've already got all of these. Put a couple more of these trees out. These are pretty good to uh, put some of these around here because we have to take the other trees off. So Richmond's 100%, so he's fine. No climbables. But we are going to add, actually, we're going to. This over here because we need to add more. We're gonna need to add multiple um, hard shelters. So, habitat, uh, hard shelter. According to this, if I just go to blueprints off, all they want is soft bedding. They don't actually want a hard shelter. So let's just put some, some soft bedding around this rock. There we go. Okay. Okay, so play. Some more animals to arrive. Yeah, we've already called the vet for that one, and we've already called the vet for that one. It annoys me when they come in. in. Make sure there's nothing specific for this one that we've not missed. Uh, black wildebeest. Food. So again, it's just large food trays. Um, so we're gonna just add a couple more. So obviously there's quite a lot of animals. We don't want these guys getting hungry or thirsty. go right an enrichment oh these guys like football so let's give them a football uh, there's already a scratching post but let's just add another one 
Okay, so. And they don't need coolers or heaters. Weather's actually perfectly fine for them. So, right, that's the other one we've done. Over the way. African buffalo. African buffalo. Anything in the food or drink? Uh, water tray large. They have a slightly different water tray. Let's make sure we add a couple of those. And then food wise, again, just a food, large food tray. Probably don't need any more after that, to be fair. Drain, they need water. I knew there was one here that needed some form of water. It's going to skip through to tomorrow. Get the day through a little bit quicker so we can actually see what we're digging up. It's a problem with night time in this game, you can't see anything. It's already 116 meters, so yeah, it's more than enough. Right. There we go. Uh, habitat, actually. Just want to make sure that they don't have any, like, um, yeah, there we go. mud baths. I knew there was animals here that had mud baths. Right, let's pause that. Add a few mud baths in here. Hi, Odie. What, you want to come say hi? <laughs> this is Odie. things over. Yeah, I've got all those, got all those. <clears throat> right, so this is where we do need to add some more shelters. Let's add... Uh, I need to make sure I leave space now because I know the, the giraffe one is pretty big. Okay, so let's add... There we go. That is all for that one. Who's next? We've done stable antelope. We've done those. Is it giraffes next? Uh, terrain is fine. We need a hard shelter now. So we go to habitat. Reset the filters. Go all the way down to R. There we go. Right. So feeders, we have some slightly different feeders for giraffes because obviously they're, they're, they're tall boys. They, they need to eat with their necks high up. And throw a couple of water trays down. Right. Hard shelter. Right, this is what I was on about. See how big this is? Oh, but no, it's it's hilarious when he's doing it on my legs. Right. Let's move this over here. 
Let's move this. Mr. C was just saying that shouting at the cat because he was using her boobs as pincushions. Digging his nails in. But yeah, it's hilarious when he does it to my legs. Right. Now we need to put some bedding in here. Now I know for a fact. Giraffes like the hay. But we are going to throw some grass down the middle. Because there is other species that are going to want to lie in here. And they like grass. Put a strip of grass down the middle. There we go. Now he's already been shifted, he's on his way. Okay. I think that is all the animals of this. African buffalo would like some more. So it's black all of these. But we're gonna leave that to happen naturally. Obviously there is another giraffe, but it's just gone back to quarantine because it's ill. What are you doing? Ah. But why don't you play with this? <gasps> wow, what you got? Back call mechanic call assistant. Right, that is fine. Uh, okay. Let's get some. Right. I need to make sure everyone is happy with what I put in. African oil palms are fine to go in. facilities uh, I'm gonna to go to education I actually need to add some education in a lot of places so one screen there add one screen here and our speaker we are gonna do about plain zebra We're going to do the African Buffalo. This one we are going to do the Giraffes. I 
can never get I've never understood these animal talk points. Like whenever I try and do it, it just says no species assigned. So let's go to what have we done? Antelope. No educator assigned. Playlist. Manage work zone. Uh, new work zone. I need to add. add that. So that should now be assigned to the work zone. Manage talks. Add more talk. Oh, so it's, it's just uh, it's a, a, where the educator can go. Oh, okay. Okay, well that makes sense. That's, that's basically you need those for the educators to go and talk about the animals. Okay, right. Okay. So we need to add some educational stuff here as well. Dirty around this path. <clears throat> Let's find where he is. Uh, no work zone. New world zone. So he should stay within this area. Right, now we need to continue adding. Hi, princess. Let's move you 
Too close to this side. Perfect. Oh, I already have one here apparently. There we go. Now I need to clean that up. So that's the West African Lions all educational up. Now I need to do the same for the mandrills. Get those. We basically we need to push the education as high as physically possible. So let's add the speaker here. Just gonna go around and add the speakers because I can add these to the wall and I'll know where they are. Start with this one. Mandrill. Let's go as far as 13. This one's going to have to be slightly shorter. There we go. Mandrill. Yeah, I, th I think she's. She is on the tired side of things. I'm gonna get rid of that speaker. She's got such a runny nose, bless her. It's just, there's, there's nothing you can do for her. Be as gentle as you can when you're trying to wipe a nose. Eleven. There we go. So let's just. Uh... forget there will be no stream tomorrow morning at 10 30 just to let you aware we may be able to do one later on in the evening but if we do i don't think we'll be playing planet zoo um i've got to basically going to work and help us out for pride for the weekend so uh yeah there'll be no um there'll be no planet zoo stream tomorrow uh but if we do stream we may stream some cod or something, but it'll be later on. Um, okay. Um, Again, the, the, the screens don't need to be as frequent as the uh, as the speakers. The speakers are there so you can, as you walk around, you, you're learning 
about the, the animal you're looking at. Whereas the screens are there to give you just that little bit of information if you want to sort of read along or learn as you go. We, um, so after stream yesterday, we, we were looking at the uh, the prices of some zoos. And for us to go for a day, for one day, to London Zoo, not including travel or anything like that, just to get into the zoo. For me, Tanya, the two boys, and Eden, and Eden's free, so that's fine. Um, would have cost us like 160 quid for an extra 20 quid we could have bought if we were going to do it we could have bought the silver membership pass which gets us free into the zoo free all year round um and like added bonuses as well i was just like may look into it I do, I do, the boys have never they've been to like Drusilla's like a little zoo but they've never been to like a real zoo with like lions and tigers and bears oh my sorry Wizard of Oz um, <clears throat> so alright so let's do our, our yearly animal inspection welfare right snakes are having a bit of an issue so let's and get rid of some of those. We'll keep two males, two females. Uh, frogs, golden poison frogs. Same with those. So male, that's a female. Right, let's get rid of the rest. Uh, Goliath frog. Um, again, having a bit of an issue, so we'll get rid of two of those. Same with the red-eyed tree frog. Uh, so We'll keep two of each species, uh, species, each, two of each gender. Um, and there's actually quite a few in there. Um, Goliath beetle, again, another one that's, they, they can, um, they can live quite happily in large colonies, but as soon as they get too crowded, it, it goes to, go to poop really quickly. So yeah, we like to uh, just minimise what they've got. Uh, mandrills are fine. Warthogs are fine. I've got one going tra transit to habitat. Again, actually, well, let's let's reduce their numbers a bit. Um, keep that female. Use the alpha male. So we want to keep him. Male. Keep that female. Male. Well, we've got two females that are pregnant, so let's get rid of that one. Uh, do, 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 do. Giraffes are fine. Snakes are fine. Uh, giant burrowing cockroaches. Let's keep the three females. Keep two males. Get rid of the rest. Uh, come on, warthog. Lion. What have we got? We've got three males and two females now, so... And... Um, may have to get rid of a couple of the adults in a bit. Wolves are doing quite well, timber wolves. Alpha male, alpha female, and some cubs. Black wildebeest is pregnant already, which is nice. Everyone's good, so let's release those to the wild. Warthog can be released. And a green eye frog couldn't be released. And another warthog. Because uh, she's pregnant. Didn't see that. There we go. Bring the path down here so we want the start of it to be this area. Uh, let's 
station with entrance and exit on the right. Yeah. That's one thing, I'm assuming the noise is gone, because I can't hear it. Um, if it comes back guys, let me know. All sounds good to me. Um, I'll watch the vlog back anyway, so I'll probably hear it. So this is one thing that's not made very clear in any of the tutorials, or, and I literally had to YouTube it myself. So when you're doing the, um, when you're doing a car ride or a boat ride and you have to use gates to get into a, to an exhibit, uh, into a habitat, basically you'll get you'll get this icon here. Let's go back again. You know we can link it up. So this little icon here. Um, editing, Chris. When you're editing this, zoom in on that. So this little icon here, uh, we'll link it up to the gate, and then you can link it up again to the second gate, and then you can literally just do your drive around. So I I find it easy if I stay behind the track because then I know which way I'm turning. And so you can turn left and right, you can go up and down, and this is oh the length of the track. So you can bring it right back, we can move it forward. So we're going to take a really sharp left turn, uh, right turn here. And then we're just going to straighten out a bit, if we can. Just so we can get over the mud paths, uh, the mud baths even. Come around a little bit that way. And hopefully we're still uh, tall enough that the giraffes can get in their bed. Add that there. And rotate this way. Thank you. 
And then we're going to link up to that gate. And then we're just going to click auto complete. Oh no, 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 no. We don't want to go back over. Okay. We're not going to just click auto complete. We're going to manually do it, chat. If, if just clicking can take us where we want to go, that ain't gonna happen to it, so let's let's go this way. Fence, please. And can you? It is sort of semi intuitious that it will. No, why, 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 why are you, why are you trying to do that? I'm trying to jump over the fence. You should say. Keep trying to climb over. Oh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Just do it. Whatever. Okay. So, uh, smooth banks. Days. Right. Close you. Exit you. Exit. Right. Place entrance. We are going to place the entrance relatively close. Place the exit here. Connect entrance to path. So this will automatically, when you do a ride, it will automatically give you a um, queue path. So I am going to sort of take advantage. We want to just bring this down. Around here. There we go. I'm just going to 
take the path out in this general direction and then connect it there. And then we're just going to connect that there. Automatically gives me a member of staff. Now let's get rid of this horrible grass. It's on my nice new path. Happy days. Oh wow! One sec. One sec. Uh, let's go into. So, chat, this is the ice cream cake. Yeah, it's, it is really like. So it's made made with basically a tub of ice cream, yeah. flour, uh, flour and, bacon and bacon powder. That's it. That's that's so good. I mean, it's literally. It only came up how much I put in the actual. Yeah, it doesn't rise. It doesn't rise. No. So to have it a, have a bigger cake. Yeah, you'd need like another six liters of ice cream. That looks pretty cool. That does look pretty cool. But it, to do. Say maybe a sandwich, sandwich tin. Yeah. Do two lots of that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll definitely put that in the YouTube video. Right. Back to the game. So let's. Yeah, we're cleaning up the path. Just getting rid of some of the longer grass. Happy days. Right. Habitat has not been attended to in a while. So let's. Let's, let's deal with that. I think, I think we've already self-dealt with it. Boom, boom, boom. It's without power. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Right, okay. That's fine. Let's do uh, facilities, power. Where is my negative impact? Does solar panels not have negative impact then? Right. Clearly not. Okay. Well, that's good to know. with the with the earth path um, and we're gonna go here let's go seven wide uh, and we're gonna align to grid to, to keep the path nice and straight <coughs> uh, and I'm just gonna use our quick fire action button as well we'll, we'll connect the dots in a minute We might add <coughs> a elephant enclosure to this side, so people have got something to look at as they come down. Uh, right, we want to continue going down just a little bit more. connect the two paths up to give people multiple options to get to the car ride. Really coming 
around this way, so we need to find something to put here. Uh, let's actually let's put, let's put some more facilities in. Okay, chat. We need to add. Actually, let's go to blueprints. What have we got under Africa? African lounge. African elephant enclosure. Now, this we do want to add. We want to add it over here. We could, we could, in theory, change this track, or do we want to <clears throat> do we want to uh, keep the track as it is? Because that's actually just a brick wall. dying of old age. So. <laughs> uh, he's out of poop. Right. Okay. So. Yep. He has died. All of that. It's old age. Nothing really too worried. Too major to worry about. <clears throat> okay. So we need to come. Why are these like. High up in the air. Not any more like that. So this is a blueprint. <coughs> Excuse me, a blueprint that we got off of the market. Is that meant to be water in there? I don't think it is. Or is it? Why have we got like a little cave? Oh, mandrills are fighting. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. So, let's... Uh, let's release that one into the wild. 177. Too many males. Okay. <clears throat> let's get... See, because that's got water there, that's got water there. I, I don't know if that's meant to have water in. I don't think it is. Okay, so let's get the path for the staff sorted. Alright, so that's that. Now we need to do... Uh, some form of raised path here. Uh, okay, let's go here. People 
and see. Actually, 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 um, I have this as well. An elephant viewing zone. So let's rotate this. Out. And we can put a couple of these in. So we need to put a path. So we're going to have to do a bit of jiggery pokery here. Um, <clears throat> let's do that. Let's do that and that. There we go. So what we got here we've got <clears throat> wind turbines failed still I'm waiting for repairs okay fine we'll do the simple thing delete power wind turbine Add um, 
facilities, power, let's add a couple more solar panels here. Blah 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 blah. Silly without power. Sometimes it's just quicker and easier just to replace than. Uh, night time it's snowing of course it is so we need um, freaking elephants so let's get um, should we have four chat see what happens yeah we can do that uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Center, select all four, center zoo, bush, out on their way. Right, so let's let's do some staff stuff down here because it's close enough to the entrance facilities. Go to staff facilities. We still want Africa because we are still in an African setting. So let's go African large keepers hut. And we'll put that one there. Thank you. Uh, quarantine. We'll put there. Vet surgery. Surgery. Put that and a African large staff room. Put there. Don't need a research center. Don't need a workshop and trade center. Right, path. <coughs> Okay, so 
and they're just all out of power because that power supply is gone. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Okay, so. That's all looking good. Are we getting people on the cars now? No. Staff, work zone, add new work zone, add those, add those, uh, <coughs> little things that I've forgotten to add, I'm wondering why the mechanics are not getting to them. Because I forgot to add them to a work zone. Okay. okay. Right. Come here, Mr. African Elephant. Uh, you two are not fighting, are you? to the wild. Too many males. I, I had a, I had a feeling. But um yeah. Okay, so we need to go to education. Actually have we got power here? No. So we need to add some form of power here. Uh, right, power. Generate. What's the negative impact? Does that affect the main path? No. Good. Put a generator in there. That should. Gives us power as far as here. So, facilities, education, educational talk, we'll do Okay, so overall, for this uh, zoo so far chat, we have our most appeals of the West African Lions. We have 15 mechanics, 9 zookeepers, 9 vets, 11 caretakers, 6 security guards, 23 vendors. We currently have no loans. We have 4 current research. We've got research going. Some, we've got more now, so let's do some more fast research. Because we're in sandbox mode, <clears throat> all the research is already done, so it's not a major issue. Uh, 
facilities, make sure all of our facilities are on the same price, yes, education, transport, we have one ride, total yearly guests, seven, only seven people have wanted to play, go on the car ride, so we really, really, really need to push people down this end. We're going to add uh, food and drink there as well. Hopefully it'll entice people down. The elephants should start enticing people down as well. It's a bit of a long walk. Is, is that people coming down or is that staff? I don't know. There's people coming down. So let's, uh, let's go blueprint. I want to... No. Hmm. Oh, let's add a Nescafe coffee shop. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add it. I'm going to add it here. So that tells me there's no power. Okay, so we are going to add facility power. Because this has no negative impact and will be enough to power the whole coffee shop. Half. Staff path. Just down to the end here. Push. And we're going to do a normal path. And we're going to do. I don't feel like Earth should be in a coffee shop. So let's do. Uh, trying to 
to find some sort of semi matches what's already in there. Inside. That's it. Half inside done, dusted. Happy days. Uh, right. Who's this? Serious, seriously injured elephant? Okay, my staff are on it. My staff in this suit are absolutely amazing. Okay, we haven't got far to go because if you just go around here. Offspring in the element. It's starting to get a bit busier down here. Just convincing people to go all the way around the lions. Oh, we've we got people starting to go in the car. I still don't know how to add more cars now. That's the thing. speed of five miles an hour and then we are going to go turn off Seconds maximum wait time 110. Let's drop that down to 100 seconds. Do not block station. There we go. So it should automatically send people along if there is cars waiting to get into the station. And I did put it back on. There we go, we've got people going to the shops around here. People going to see our elephants. Okay, so we need to change the food quality as well. Food, glorious food. Quality three. No one is hungry. Oh, one of my feet. Lionesses is about to die. Go back. Oh, look, the cop's seen it. Uh, what hog's about to die? Oh, there we go. We've come quite far today, chat. Yeah, you can get rid of both of those now because we know the vets have been called. So we have gained elephants, we have gained uh, zebras, we have gained wildebeests, uh, giraffes, uh, antelope, which are all in our big paddock over here. Um, 
we have extended our family for the elephants, which is quite nice. Food, uh, food quality must be set in the habitat. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Keep that. Oh, one of my timber wolves just died. Let's, let's quickly run over to. Run. Are we going to go over there? No. Animal died. There we go. So he is. He's an old boy anyway. 13 years old for a timber wolf. That is. That is old. All right. And people seem to be enjoying the, the view here. Four grand in donations from that pot alone. Grand in that one. You know, it's... We're getting there, chat. Now, <clears throat> like I said earlier, we're not going to have a stream tomorrow morning uh, for Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo will be back on Monday uh, for the live stream. But if you have missed any of the previous parts of the series, make sure you go and check out our YouTube channel um, where we are uploading a edited down version <clears throat> but until then we will see you guys hopefully tomorrow evening for something slightly different if not we will see you on monday for the live streams guys who are watching on uh, youtube and um, watching the highlight packages keep up to date monday to friday uh, 10 p.m uh, uk time a new video should be released every day guys thank you so much for everything and we will see you all again very soon